Uh, have you missed Raoul? I have. He's my favourite of the heroes so far. Really? No, not at all. <laughs> you don't like the way he spins and it goes well, around. I don't like the way he looks at camera and judges us. <laughs> I don't know, like the way you think you're better than us, Raoul. Okay, so we left him in the middle of a back and forth set of conversations talking to people. I think that's basically where we're going to carry on. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, I have a feeling we last left it. We we just spoken to Julio. I don't think there was anything else to add. Um, I love the way he stands up to talk to you. He's polite. <laughs> He's polite. Um, yeah, so I think we had all this, didn't we? Yeah. It's nothing that stands out as odd. I think we've discovered new things, but it wasn't like nothing additional, really. So I mean, we're, we're kind of trying to find Fabiati, aren't we? Really? Yeah, so Is there's a wander been? around trying to find... Where's this cabin? He's next door. To us? He's that that's one. the toilet. Yeah. Isn't that the toilet? Oh, wait, no, maybe that's the toilet. Uh, I, I get lost on this ship. It's only got six, six sections, but I get lost. <laughs> well, they all look uh, very similar. That's a blow, isn't it? <laughs> I guess you have nailed you, you. You've nailed the, the uh, location. It is a boat. Where Where are we on the ocean? We know. I think it did say in the cut cut scene, didn't it? The no, I'm getting mixed up with Deep in the Caribbean, which is of course from Monkey Island. <laughs> <laughs> If we were on a boat in a point-and-click adventure game, it's in the Caribbean, surely. Um, this is not. In, this is really clearly not in the Caribbean. You assume? Do you think it's somewhere European? It must be somewhere I think so. uh, European. I don't know. I, I. I don't. I don't know. Um, we've spoken to this guy, haven't we? We got everything. Yeah, not at all. He's. Uh, he's denying it vehemently. Uh, yeah, Lost Causes. All Out War. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember all this, yeah. Yeah, nothing more for Tom. And we're not allowed to um, just poke around his room while he's in there, <laughs> weirdly enough. Uh, let's... I'm, I've moved beyond knocking now. We're yeah, either going in or we're not well, going in. I had that super... Uh, that that feeling that they were locking the door because we were knocking on the door. <laughs> yeah. Don't talk, talk to Raoul. It's and time I to play hardball. Them. Yeah. I wouldn't want to talk to Raoul if he came knocking. <laughs> okay, so this is Fabiani's room. Fabiani's not here. No one's here. Someone keeps coming in and sorting out the bed. But yeah, either yeah. that or it's got no memory. <laughs> I wouldn't like to suggest that. All right, locked door. Let's just check the last cabin just to make sure, but I assume probably not. And then we'll head downstairs and um, try and find... We can talk to someone else, yeah. If there's anyone else. Okay, not for us. I know of a certain dynamic cabin boy who uh, doesn't want to speak to us. Well, I can't understand us. <laughs> We can't understand the dynamic cabin boy. No. He speaks too dynamically. It's like the film Lost in Translation. Um, okay, so that was the... I assume this is the bar. No, with those doors. With those saloon-style doors, yeah. Okay, no one in here. Standing there. Okay, no one in here. <laughs> Lovely, is to wait for the fade out. 
It's so annoying, actually. Um, maybe it's just a way to get you to use the um, map. <laughs> I, I think it's more maybe. I, I, I would feel it's a technical thing. Like, there's a reason for it. Like. Oh, something's happening. I hope I'm not breaking the game. Ah! Where is this? This is the dining room. Oh. I was expecting, for some reason, I was expecting something grander for the dining room than one bench. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, good morning, my son. I came from the bar, and the waiter told me that you have my prayer book. Ah, how scatterbrained I am. <laughs> At my age, the memory starts to go, you see. So what's new, Inspector? Oh, casual. <laughs> hey, Inspector. What's happening? Uh, okay. Person, We've got so a whole know. new person to ask a bunch of incredibly insensitive things to. So let's start from the top. Tom. Excuse me for being frank, Inspector, but for me, Tom is an opportunist. He is young and brilliant, and he takes advantage of this. Okay. And see now where this has brought Rose, one breakdown after another. This marriage has ruined her life. Oh dear. We haven't seen Rose. Presumably she's just hiding somewhere on the ship, not in her ca cabin. No, can't be in the, her cabin. No, there's only so many places these people can actually be. So it's kind of a bit bizarre that they're not readily available in some form. Um, all right, Tom's financial difficulties, rumours, but it appears that Tom is seriously in the red. <laughs> And I know about reds and blacks. <laughs> right. Tom and Rose's marriage. Whoa. Rose was captivated by Tom. When this bright boy appeared in her life, she lost her head. Whether he liked it or not, Rose's father finally gave his consent to their marriage. Maybe with the hope that his daughter would forget being jilted in her previous love affair. She's not had much luck. Once married, Tom started going out, leaving his wife to run after the oh, leaving his wife to run after the first skirt that appeared. Tom's a dick. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Tell me about Julio and his sports cars, father. He is a nice boy, but he is not very productive. <laughs> He is lazy. Right, Julio's cars. I'm not interested in this sort of thing. Okay. Julio's family. Julio has a very generous father. These things don't interest a man of the cloth, Inspector. What money? What about, what about your kind of man of the cloth, father? Okay. <laughs> mm, okay. All right. I am a close friend of the Caravajan family. That's it. Okay. Close friend. There we go. <laughs> Where did you get this? It's none of your business. Okay. They're very like, um, so. Sort of what are you doing? How have you got that? And then that's it. End of conversation. Well, they don't want to cut you off from the rest of the conversation topics you could ask. That's true. By having them actually react. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's none of our business, but we are going to continue to ask a few things here. Father. Father. All right. Suzanne Abiani's friendship. We have been good friends for a long time. His eyes get really wide and it's kind of freaky. <laughs> ah, I've seen a ghost. Right. 
Mind your own business, Inspector. See, like, we want more. You would have thought they'd be maybe apologetic or, like, uh, um, giving excuses or something, but it's just like, yes. I, I feel like there's the, the, main, the main, I guess, problem that this system has at the moment is there's no real actual dialogue. No. It's, you ask a question, they go for a monologue. You ask a question, and it's a vague question because it's just... Yeah. a topic and it's not an actual question whereas sometimes you do wish it kind of had a bit of back and forth between well yeah i would have thought you'd want more follow-up from i hear you have a, a suitcase casino on wheels father to mind your own business um and then maybe no <laughs> like we've heard things about oh maybe we'll get it with various because there's still this stuff yeah. so perhaps they're the key things but what was the point of going through the motions of finding out about that letter in his Bible and opening his suitcase if we're not actually going to get to do anything with that information? Well, we may we may get to do something with it, but it might it might be to the point where really we're trying to gather the evidence and show it to other people. Yeah, perhaps rather than themselves, because nobody's going to open, you know, just have loose lips about their own. Did we ask everyone about Father Fabiani's suitcase and gambling? No, that already came up. That's already come up now, I think. We had his suitcase. Well, we didn't have Fabiani as an actual option, did we? Oh. Because we've just met him. Oh, of course. Okay, so we he was unlocked to us to ask yeah. about because he didn't exist as a human being. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't a character we'd met. So Until we, we made about contact him. with him. Even though we'd heard all about this Fabiani guy, we could not ask, what about this Fabiani we've not met with his suitcase and his gambling problems who appears to be uh, a religious man of some sort? In any interest in that? We right? No, no, we couldn't actually use any of our detective spirit to hmm. work any of, to make the connect the dots and do that. Oh, no, Raoul would, would be like, meet him. it wouldn't be proper unless I've met him in person. <laughs> So I can start talking about it behind his back off. Yeah, it's exactly. That's the way. That's the way you do it. All right. So we asked those and he didn't really help. Yeah, you're right. Maybe you're not, you shouldn't really expect the person to tell you that much. He'd probably be defensive, whereas other people would be, ah, haha, yeah, Father Fabiani is a gambling fiend. Everyone knows <laughs> that. <laughs> Um, him and Tom went on a bender last week. <laughs> all right, Suzanne. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm sure there'll be something of value in here. Suzanne is a brave girl. <laughs> right. Starting strong. Mental note. Suzanne is a brave girl. Let's ask about their friendship. We have been good friends for a long time. Suzanne really wanted to go on the cruise, as she hates everyone on board. <laughs> she thought it would be fun. As she is a good friend of mine, I went to see Nicholas to talk to him about it. He wasn't very enthusiastic. And as I insisted, and as I insisted, he finally accepted. You know, Suzanne and him have never got on. I don't really know why I've invited her, why she wants to go, or any of this. It seems like it would be crap for her to be stuck on a boat with all these people she hates. Um, all right. Uh, was that invitation? It was, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Nicholas and Suzanne's relationship. Suzanne and Nicholas were like cat and dog. <laughs> <laughs> Undoubtedly because she was the only one who dared stand up to him. They spent their time arguing. For instance, just yesterday. Ah, is that, is that being added? Is that yesterday? Dispute? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Suzanne's confinement. It's also, the weird thing is you're kind of jumping around a bit, but you... I feel like the only neat way of doing this is to go down one by one because there's no marker or clarity about yeah. uh, which ones you've already asked, which is annoying in of itself, given you have to keep going back and forth and talking to these different people or the same people, sorry, about different things. Um, but also it's, 
it kind of makes you seem a bit schizophrenic in your <laughs> approach. Maybe that is part, we should put that as part of uh, Rao's headcanon, though. He's like constantly trying to disarm them by going off in a million different tangents. <laughs> Tell me about the fight and her illness. <laughs> but now the fight, but now the illness. Yeah, I've forgotten his voice yeah. as well. I need to remember. He's got. A, I gave him a gruff voice. <laughs> I like a, um, like an action hero, like a Batman. Right. Um, Suzanne's confinement. Did I actually ask that? You did. No. Oh no, no, no. I don't no, think I did. did. It was six months ago that the poor girl had to dry out. And despite this, she's still drinking. Alas, God forgive her. Suzanne is a good girl, Inspector. Unfortunately, when she has one drink, she can't stop herself from having a second, and a third, etc. You wouldn't, a human being wouldn't say etc. <laughs> no. Yeah, they'd probably say, and so on. Yeah, or just leave yeah. it, and a third, and let your, let you do the legwork. Let you do the etc. in your yeah, head. Yeah, exactly. It, it, ellipsis is already there. You've got it. you got it. I don't, you don't often hear people saying etc. Uh, at all, really. Uh, Suzanne, there we go. Here's the fight from yesterday. Okay. As I was going back to my cabin, I came upon them as they were arguing. Oh. Oh. Thanks, father. That was really useful. All right, Suzanne's illness. We're going to go back to this now. <laughs> I don't see what you're, you're confusing me, Inspector. You keep talking about different things at the same time. I don't know what's going on. Just stay on topic. <laughs> it's very difficult. Have you conducted an interview before? Yes, this is the best style I've worked out. Many years <laughs> of experience interviewing people. You interview like a maniac. <laughs> All right, thanks, Father, for your help. That gave us some time. Pro Whoa, quite a bit of chunky time was there. Was it? 20. Wait, was Suzanne the last... Is there not various to talk about? Oh. Yeah, I might have jumped the gun. <laughs> Raoul walks away, then one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. Oh, and Hector. <laughs> ah, two more things. <laughs> Father <laughs> Fabiani. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> we want to talk about Hector. Hector is a good butler. Thanks, father. I <laughs> clearly didn't need to talk about this. Hector and Niklas got along very well. Okay, and then I need to ask you about various. Okay, so this should be, in theory, pertinent, right? Because yeah. this was the guy. Yeah, this should be right. pertinent. They're I'm probably going to tell us to mind our own business. <laughs> I'm expecting some serious information here. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so what? I hate you, father. <laughs> some uh, so serious what? information. I'm asking the questions here. I think that is a very reasonable question to ask as a detective yeah. investigating a murder. I think, well, I think it would be wholly inappropriate to be so flippant about yeah. not providing some kind of alibi or reasoning because of the secret meeting you were having about something that could implicate you in a murder um, with the person who got murdered. Yeah, I think so what is probably not what you want to say. You probably want to give some kind of... Some excuse? Like, just anything, yeah, yeah. really. So what? Is there something about that that's important? <laughs> Does that seem suspicious to you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's ask. Let's see if he can give us any more uh, 
sad news. Nicholas was a good person. Alright. This guy. Every one of these people are super shady. Um, alright. Poor Tom. Not surprising that he has financial problems. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. Thanks. It was really worth me coming back. Yeah. That mm. part probably wasn't actually information we needed to know. It didn't even advance time, so no. It was... A bottle of red wine. Yeah, that didn't advance time. Well, so what? Was it going to advance time, was it? No, if anything, so what? we were lucky it didn't wind the clock back. Delicious, juicy fruit. Of a nondescript variety. Yeah, all the fruits. A cornucopia. Try something else. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Raoul. Thanks. Cutlery. Alright, you're feeling useful today. Um, oh, we can examine. It's used for eating. A good little meal. Can we... Oh, can we speak... Oh, no. It's closed. I was hoping I we could... You, I think you really emphasised the punctuation in the last session. Okay, you want you me do. to go harder on the... um. Pregnant horses. <laughs> well, I think that's what you were doing last time. I'll try my best. He, I mean, to be honest, he's not giving me a great deal to work with no, here. No, that's true, that's true. Like, it's just I think you were rapsed in. Like, I think <laughs> in the last session you just started inserting them where there weren't any. Yeah, probably. I'll, all right, let me try, and you can spot where I'm... I don't want to add too much to the no, magic. No, I know, but I just have a like... feeling that I, I heard it. It's just that last one you did there. Where it's just, I, I'm pretty sure in the last one you would have said it something like, it is used for eating. Yeah, you're right. That, like, I think that's... Yeah, he was that, meant to be massively dramatic, that's right. Yeah, he's like really over-dramatizes everything. Yeah, I was a bit annoyed by it with him at the, right then. Because he just <laughs> literally said, cutlery. To the thing that was marked cutlery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, which I think is beyond lazy. Um I'm just going to read the marks, the things on the screen for you, <laughs> in case you haven't read them already. When you clicked on it. Yeah. Just in case you wanted to know what it was. Ring. <laughs> okay. uh, all right, so we've got some more bits. We can literally... So we're going to ask everyone about Paul yeah. Fabiardi now. Let's start yeah. with Suzanne. I think that's probably a good call. She's always got a lot to say, but Fabiani is her friend. So... Yeah. Okay, we're going to speak from here. We are... No, we're not. Okay. He's got a real problem with approach. No, you always want to sidle up from that side. That's why. How may I help you, Inspector? Uh, right, uh, should we just... There was something in Tom, wasn't there? Yeah. Tom and Rose's marriage. Okay, tell me about that. I honestly think that Rose did not make a good choice. Don't you? No question mark. Is it rhetorical? It's rhetorical. She doesn't care what we think. <laughs> Don't you still put a question mark for a rhetorical question? Yes. I think so. Uh, I, I would. Though it... I think it's actually a hell of a lot. If, if the rule was you don't put a question mark, then that would make it clear when a question is rhetorical. Mm. Um, though it would let, make it less clear that it's a question at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, ups and downs with that theory and idea. Um, all right. So she offered nothing but more slagging off of Tom, who everyone thinks is a complete douche. Uh, everyone on board. I mean, they all think everyone. Everyone, everyone. Seems to think everyone's a douche, except, except for Julio. Julio, who, who's apparently a bit too uh, much of an idiot to think people would. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all we're sort of getting from that. Well, they're all a hundred percent convinced that Hector is devoted. <laughs> yeah, which is making me think Hector did it. Oh, not the butler. Yeah, because I think it's going to do that. Like, it's only because he's not a target at the moment. Okay. It's a good point, actually. Are you anywhere along thinking... 
No, just Along everyone's a, theory, a dick. Everyone's it's not, a dick. <laughs> it's not. It doesn't help when everyone's just going. Everyone else is a dick. It's pretty good. Like, it's pretty standard for the genre, though. Yeah, bitchy it is, rich people. But we haven't quite got to the point where anyone's really. Prob- no one's like, standing out for you. Come on, he's clearly being set up as the guy. Yeah, I think he's being set up as the guy, but not to the point where I think he's murdered a guy, because it just seems too obvious to set up a secret meeting the night before someone gets murdered. It is, and also if you're like, using, like, traditional... If you've if you read around the way these things work, chances of it being him because of that are, is slim, because he's, he's the guy. Yeah, he's the guy. Raoul is using the gambling. meta... He's just he's just a, got a gambling addiction. He's got a gambling addiction and but he the out of all of the people we've met so far, he has probable cause, right? Uh no one else does. Um like why would he do it? Sorry. Because he was he the, the um, Nicholas knew what he was up to and he wanted he a was word supporting was, him. Did it read as supportive to you? It did, yeah. Oh, okay. We need to, we need to sort this out. But they were angry. The, he was angry. Yeah, Do you think ang- he was yeah, angry? angry. Be- yeah, sorry, go I on. think he's angry because of the letter, the bishop letter. I don't think he's angry at at Nicholas. I think he was asking him for, or, or saying, we need to sort this out. Like, this whole we thing makes it sound like they're in together. They're in together. Mm, true. I mean, there's a couple of ways of looking at it, isn't there? There's... Um, Nick Kloss discovered this and went wanted to talk to Fabiani as a friend and Fabiani reacted with anger because it's well, an embarrassing the one that set up the meeting. Um oh. But then why would Fabiani set up the meeting and say we need to talk about this? Yeah, but exactly. then that... unless they're both in on it, yeah. But then that's why I... Well that's unless why I think say Nick Kloss is blackmailing him and we haven't seen that. That's true. I guess that's always an option. It just uh, from what we've seen so far, I can only think they're kind of they're both in the know about it, and it's not a at odds with each other thing. At yeah, the I don't know because it definitely said that they were angry at the table, which would suggest to me either. Yeah, but only one of them. I think Fabiani was fuming. Yeah, and, and that that understand. could be like pride at being uncovered as a gambler or that he has a problem and not wanting to admit it's it. we can't keep our clues because <laughs> uh, if we read that letter again, I do think it says something about him. Do we not he, have he, it? He sounds angry in the letter. The very first letter, no. Didn't we give it to the bar? Possibly. The, the bar man. Or do you think he just threw it away in the trash? And then he just flung it when he flung all the rest of the stuff <laughs> to the right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I don't okay. think we have it anymore. Well, we can have a quick look after we finish talking to this lady. Um, Biani. Father Fabiani. Father Fabiani. Uh, why can't I say this name? Father Fabiani is a good man. That was so hard. All right, the bishop's letter. Father Fabiani. Well, I'm really struggling with this now. Father Fabiani told me that he had some troubles, but I didn't think they could be so serious. Oh, we've got some worries. He's got worries. Listen, Inspector. I'm afraid that there are some nasty people who amuse themselves by soiling the reputation of others. Yep, everyone on this ship. (laughs) Everyone but me. I only tell you the truth. I deliver truth bombs. Right, but... Let's do this one. Oh, we've had this one, haven't we? Sort of. Ju- oh, sort yeah, okay, so yeah. it's the inverse, or it's it's actually duplicated from her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fabiani's suitcase. I've never seen his su- this suitcase. I've never seen his suitcase. All right, okay. So... Is there anything else, or is it all... Uh, there was this dispute. This yeah. argument that oh, okay, so we do actually have a few other potential things because this could this was the day before, right? Mm. Okay, Suzanne and Nicholas's dispute. 
I'd rather not talk about this. Yeah, fair. Of course you wouldn't. That means you did it.